Earth consists of water and other minerals. Water is an important thing in everyone's life. Without water, it's not that much possible to live. We all drink water and the water we drink is suitable for us to drink. Human mankind is searching for life outside our planet. They have found some interesting facts, mainly presence of water. Some of our neighboring planets have water in them. We can take Mars as an example. We have been drinking water of Earth from the very beginning of human mankind. But have we ever imagined of drinking the water from other planets? Is it possible to have the water of other planets? How will it taste like? Is it drinkable? The answer to these questions are going to be discussed. Welcome back. This is Ignatius Life. Water mainly consists of two hydrogen and an oxygen. Drinking water also consists of that. But there are slight differences between them, mainly the particles that are present inside it. Normal water consists of a number of bacteria that can make you fall sick. We have to make it good enough to drink. But the water that we drink is also consists of bacteria but are not harmful. This water consists of calcium, magnesium and so on. But as we said, there are planets which have water content. Are they suitable for us? You know, planets are not inside Earth, they are outside from our home, and they are not that much close to us. If a planet has water, it may not be suitable for us. It's chock full of salts called perchlorates that can be toxic to humans. The amount of perchlorates that can be in drinking water because it can cause thyroid problems and harm the gastrointestinal tract, skin, breast tissue, and the placenta. It's saltier than the saltiest water on Earth. What if we go there? Importing water from Earth is expensive and unsustainable long term. And trying to imitate its survival steps taken by the stranded astronaut from the Martian, burning oxygen and hydrogen to produce water, would be extremely dangerous. The effective way to keep us hydrated on Mars will be to tap its fresh water. There are tons of it at the polar caps according to scientists. The northern ice cap alone is 621 miles across. There's also dust-covered glaciers that wrap around the planet. It's a huge amount of ice, the equivalent of all of Mars being covered in one meter of ice, according to a recent study. That's nice stable source of H2. The new salty water found on Mars is transient. It only appears during the warm season. Although there's a lot of it, it's spread out over very large areas, so the volume at any one place is insignificant. So it wouldn't make sense to go after this water, but it's not that much possible to drink it.